Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to clean your professional hot tools. Um, in particular today I'm going to show you how to clean your flat irons. You can use this method when cleaning your curling irons um, and other hot tools that you have like your curling wands and so forth. So as you can see here, I have a lot of buildup on my flat iron. Basically this is just from, you know, product, from oils from my hair, from hair oils that I use and you know, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to cleaning my hot tools like most people. So, unfortunately now, I have to try to get this grime off. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a little paste. Um, in this jar here, I have some baking soda. So, I'm going to add about a tablespoon uh, to a little bowl. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of alcohol. And what I want to do is I want to stir it up till it's basically... A paste. So I'm just going to add a little bit more alcohol just so it's a little bit more pasty. And what this is going to do is the alcohol, because it has a rougher texture to it, when I apply it to my flat iron, I'm going to really rub it in and it's going to help lift off that grime. So now that that's made, this is the consistency that you want. So a thin paste is what I would call this. So I'm going to take my flat iron. And I'm literally going to take it with a spoon, just pour it on there, and then I'm just going to rub with my finger. Really rub, get it in there, and keep it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, after I rub it in, I'm going to do the other side. Now you can do this once a week, once a month, or whenever you really start to notice a buildup, but you don't want to wait too long. Like you don't want to, you know, wait till it's like a buildup like I have because then it's just a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit for about 10, 20 minutes. And then when I come back, I'll show you how it looks when we wipe it off. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, I was really able to get off all that grime with that solution that we made. So I did let it sit for 20 minutes and I really scrubbed it. Um, I did have to go in with one of these, um, which is just like a dishwashing um, sponge with a really rough edge um, because I had to put in some elbow grease because I had a lot of buildup. You do not do not, do not, do not, and I'm being serious, don't even attempt it. Use anything too abrasive like a pair of scissors or something metal to try to scrape it off because all you're going to do is end up scratching your flat iron, um, taking off the ceramic um, coating, and this is going to be uh, bad news bears from there. So if you need to put in a little bit of elbow grease, I highly recommend only using um, a dishwashing sponge just with the rough side and that's as abrasive as you should get. Don't attempt to try to rub it off with anything else. So I hope this works for you guys and you guys can get nice clean flat irons like I have now. Um, leave a comment below and remember to subscribe to my channel and feel free to send me messages if you guys want to see any other tutorials, um, any specific product reviews or any other useful tips like this when it comes to your makeup and your hot tools. Talk to you guys soon. Soon. Stay good. Bye.